What's up? Hey everyone, it's John Benson from johnbensonfitness.com and today's topic is workouts for black people. That's right. And tomorrow's topic is going to be workouts for Mexican Americans. And then I think the day after that we're going to do workouts for Native Americans. I'm partially Native American, so that really applies to me. And then after that, I think we're going to go into Dutch speaking Germans. And then after that, possibly half Asian, half Italian, maybe a quarter of Italian. And maybe you got a little bit of Indo European mixed in with you. And does any of this make any sense? No, of course not. No, there are no workouts for black people, Mexican people, white people, whatever people. In fact, I have a dream, to quote the great Dr. King, I want to see racism and any form of ism that leads to segregation of peoples eradicated in my lifetime. I know, it's a long shot. It's a long shot. I'm hoping for it. So today's topic is about workouts for women. Are there workouts for women? No, it's the same thing as workouts for men. And I'm going to tell you how I got started. And when you hear how this got started, it's going to sound every bit as ridiculous, every bit as racist, or in this case, misogynist, as workouts for black people or Mexican people or white people or whatever people. It got started by a group of guys who decided they weren't getting enough female members into their gym. So they decide, they get together and just picture this conversation. It goes something like this. Hey boss, look, we got like 90% guys in the gym. And it's scaring the crap out of all the women. No one will come in here. All these muscles and weights and, and, and... Hmm. Does sound like a problem. Got any solutions? Well, yeah. I was thinking that maybe we could uh, kind of do a workout for women kind of thing and market it strictly to women and say, hey, you're different than men. You need to work out different than men. Do you know, just like that deodorant that's made for a woman, but men can use it too. Kind of like that. Continue. So yeah, so then we market it strictly to women and they feel better. We placate to them. We make them feel, oh, special. And at the same time, we kind of rise above it ourselves. You know, we get the man thing going. Oh yeah, that's a girl's workout over there. Or this is a man's workout. You know what I mean, man? You know, okay. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not much. This is how this bullshit got started. Workouts for women got started as a marketing ploy because there weren't enough women members in gymnasiums. This should make you furious, or at least mildly upset, that it still goes on today. Now let me parenthetically say, I am not talking about workouts like uh, Fit Yummy Mummy. It's a great workout by my co-author of Every Other Day Diet, Holly Rigsby. The link is in the sidebar. Go check it out. Um, great workout book, but that's her target audience. She's saying, look, I used to be an overweight woman. I had a child and I, I got a little fat and I figured out a way to get this really hot body that I've got right now. She's just talking to her audience. It'd be like me talking to an audience of formerly obese men because I used to be obese. So that's a little different, but she doesn't say, now this workout is only for women. Guys can, it'll never work for guys. Guess what? It will work for guys. Just like my workouts will work for women. So let me give you the secret, the secret to gaining muscle, to burning body fat, and to getting the body that you want. I don't care if you're a female, a male, in between, white, black, gray, green, whatever. Your DNA is the same. Your muscles respond the same. Here's the secret. Ready? I want to just tone up. I don't want to get big like you, man. You, know, you got big muscles and that kind of scares me. Here's how you do it. You train with progressive resistance. You consume adequate protein and calories. You supplement wisely and you get plenty of rest. Oh, great. Thank you. Not me, man. I want to be bigger than you. I mean, you're a big guy, but I want to be huge. I want to be 300 pounds. Oh, that's totally different than you train with progressive resistance. You consume adequate amounts of protein and calories. You supplement wisely and you get adequate rest. Sound familiar? It should. It's the same thing but I don't want to get too bulky. I'm afraid of getting too much muscle. Look, if we all had this problem, if we all had this problem, but ladies, if you're really concerned about that, I got a real secret for you. Stop training when you get the results you want. <laughs> okay. Don't literally stop training, but stop pushing yourself when you get the results you want. That's all you have to do. You're not going to wake up one day and go, my God, I just added an inch and a half to my bicep and I look like John. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Everyone has to train the same way, period. Your muscles are built out of the same DNA, the same molecular structure, the same muscle fibers as a guy, as a girl. Everybody's the same. Hate to break it to you, but it's a marketing ploy. Now, I'm going to leave you with this. If you want to know how to burn body fat at an accelerated rate, 
then you're talking to the right guy. Or actually, you're listening to the right guy. <laughs> Wish we could be talking. Check out my free fat burning e-course. It's seven days long. Link right there. It's going to tell you all about it. It's going to tell you how to do it. It's free, seven days, and it's called the Personal Fat Loss Certification Course. You will be personally certified to be your own personal fat loss expert, which leads me to my final point. While everyone is the same when it comes down to how they respond to exercise, everybody is unique. In other words, some people may need higher repetitions than lower repetitions. Some people may thrive on a higher protein diet like I do or may thrive on a higher carbohydrate diet. That's metabolic individualism. That's a lot different than saying workouts for men, workouts for women, workouts for Mexican-Americans. It's that silly. It's the same thing.